Good morning. And this morning I want to talk about how to deregister your primary switch. Now I've already made a video talking about how to deregister your primary switch from within the switch itself. But how do you go about deregistering your primary switch when you no longer have access to it? And the reason you might be in this situation is you might have lost your switch or your switch might have failed and you can't actually get into it to go into the eShop and change your settings. So in those circumstances, you would have to go about doing it another way. And the way you would do it generally is you would go to Nintendo's website and do it from there. And if you look on the screen that I've got up at the moment, these are the instructions that you need to follow. And it says, note, deactivating one console will allow you to select a different console as the primary console for your Nintendo account. Each Nintendo account can have one primary Nintendo Switch console at a time which is a bit of a pain in the neck, but I'm not going to get into that here. And then the second one, I don't really follow what this means and it's not really applicable. So let's just get down to the important bits. Important. You can deactivate a primary Nintendo Switch console through the settings on the console itself, which is what my previous video was about. If you don't have access to the primary console, you can deactivate a console from within your Nintendo account remotely. However, this can only be done once per year and that's quite important because if you deactivate your primary switch from within the console itself you can do it as many times as you like and you can swap between consoles but if you're doing it on the website once a year so uh, you can do it once and if you lose your console again you're stuffed presumably though in that circumstance you could actually go to the next point which says if neither of these options are available to you, please contact us for additional assistance. So if you've lost your switch, got a new switch and you've done this already and then your new switch breaks, you can contact Nintendo and presumably they'll be able to sort it out from there. Then it goes on to telling you how to actually go about doing it. Complete these steps. Is the primary Nintendo Switch console available? Well, in this instance, no. And it says, using a web browser, visit accounts.nintendo.com. We're going to do that in a minute. It says sign into the Nintendo account you wish to, wish to deactivate, select shop menu, select deregister primary console, enter your Nintendo account password, select deregister twice to confirm. And then the last one, it says the next time you connect to the Nintendo shop, eShop, sorry, from your Nintendo Switch console, the console you use to connect will automatically be set as your primary console. And that works in exactly the same way as it would if you deregistered your Switch from within the Switch itself. If you deregister your Switch, next time you log on and go into the eShop, that Switch that you're using at that particular time will automatically become your primary console. So hopefully that's clear. But enough about this. Let's actually get in and see how it works. So as you can see here, I've got my account loaded up. And as it said in the instructions, you would go to shop menu. And as you can see, it brings this one up. And from there, you would actually just scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see at the bottom here, it says deregister primary console. So click on that. And then it's asking you for your password. So you would put in your Nintendo password that you use to go into the eShop. And then OK that. And then it brings up this screen. It says your Nintendo Switch console will be deregistered as the primary console for your Nintendo account. If you deregister this console, the next console you use to access Nintendo eShop will automatically be registered as the primary console for this Nintendo account. We've already been through that. So what you would do is you would click on deregister and then as it says in the instructions, it would ask you to do that again, basically to confirm it. And once you've done that, then you no longer have any consoles registered as your primary switch. So then the next time you load up your switch, you go into the eShop, that becomes your primary switch. So hopefully that was some use. Let me know if it is in the comments and uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up and all the usual stuff. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.